Are you ever in that situation where it's like you get to like the checkout page of a thing you're trying to buy and then it's like, oh, promo code. It's that feeling where it's like, oh, I think I can save a bit more money, but you just, it just, does, just doesn't always work out that way. And so I find with tickets, it's not quite as bad, but Sometimes it is. For example, you're on Ticketmaster, you're trying to buy some tickets, you see the promo code box is there, but you don't really think much of it. And then you go onto the map itself and you see all these other codes that are all locked by these little lock boxes. You're like, oh, what's the promo code? How do I unlock these tickets? How do I access to these seats so that I can go ahead and actually get better seats, save some money, get a better discount, all the good things. How do I actually do it? Well, there's actually a website on the internet that talks about all the pre-sale codes for different ticketed events. And it goes into detail of how to actually go find those tickets, get some tips, how to use those pre-sale codes, what the pre-sale codes are, all that information is there, and it's all for free. Interested? Well, let's discuss. What's up, guys? Welcome back. My name is Shiraz here on Thumbs Up Run, where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, making sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Today, we're talking all about TicketCrusader.com. Huh. Ticket Crusader, they are someone who I have been relying on for more than a few years now, and I use them as my go-to source when I am looking for new pre-sale codes for different events. So today I'm actually going to do a deep dive review into Ticket Crusader themselves. Who they are, what they do, what they're good at, what they're not so good at, and then just give you my overall impression of what I think about using them as a service. If you're looking for those pre-sale codes, you'll definitely want to pay attention to this one today. All right, so first off, Ticket Crusader. Who are they? What are they? They do have a bit of a social presence online, but it's not necessarily massive. And this is probably why a lot of you may or may not even know they exist. I find that those people who are looking for tickets all the time, they would have eventually run across this website because they do post quite a bit. However, in terms of socials, they're mostly active on Twitter and Facebook, and then a bit of the YouTube, though that's kind of died off over the years. So if you just take a look at their YouTube channel, you don't 299 subscribers. Maybe you guys can go show them some love. Hit that subscribe button over there. Give them a little kick. Say, hey, let's make some more videos because, you know, they got a few here. Uh, one of them over 100,000 views, which is, you know, it's pretty good. I don't, I mean, I don't have anything over 50,000. So, I mean, this, uh, they're crushing it. Then in terms of the Twitter and Facebook's Twitter, they have about 1,200 followers. And then as well on Facebook, about 5,000 or so people who like their page. So, you know, they're, they're, they're around. There is a bit of a following behind them, and, and that's pretty cool, right? But I find that with Twitter, they're posting there the most often. And I think a lot of times the posts that they get made on Twitter, they go directly to Facebook, and then they also pull directly from their website as well. So it's all kind of integrated together to help them basically drive SEO so that they can go ahead and get more traffic to their website and you know drive some more visitors viewers page views all that good stuff that's the way they're doing it to basically you know get themselves you know known in the world all very good things but on the actual main website this is kind of where all the glory is so you can see here they got a whole bunch of different bars and sections going on you know they talk about pre-sale codes how to become a broker tips and tricks and then also the buying and selling of tickets so let's kind of dive into each of these different areas and give ourselves a bit of an evaluation of what we like what we don't like and get a better idea of how it all kind of ties together Right off the bat, one of the very best things I like about Ticket Crusader is that they have a section over here on the right called Standard Presale Passwords. I rely on this quite a bit because not necessarily for the Amex and City Chase presale codes, but more for the Live Nation presale codes. I always forget what they are, and every month they do come out with a new one. So sometimes I just I just don't have the time or the patience to go ahead and actually find it on the Live Nation website. So I just jump on over here, and I can see this month for May it's Remix. Every month it will come out with something new. So if I can find a place that I can always go ahead pull it from kind of saves me a bit of time bit of effort and it just makes my life a whole lot easier other than that the other main draw to coming to the website is actually through their pre-sale password section so in this section Ticket Crusader is posting daily and not just you know once a day they're posting basically anyone and everyone who has an event they're making a page about it saying hey this is where the event's going on here's where it's taking place and here's all the pre-sale codes for all the different events so if i take a look at this one jamie johnson pre-sale codes don't exactly know who this is but if i go down and take a look i can see here there are pre-sale codes for today and then it kind of just goes by different events now when you're actually taking a look on their website it may not initially come across to you but i would assume 
assume that they are actually ticket brokers themselves. One, just because they are spending the time to go ahead find those pre-sale codes would imply they're trying to buy tickets for themselves as well so they can go ahead resell them. And then two, they do have this website called Super Seats. So Ticket Crusader and Super Seats, I believe they are one and the same. Ticket Crusader kind of draws everybody in with the free content and then they try and push you over into Super Seats to finalize that ticket purchase if you can't get them on the primary market. I think this is actually quite genius of them because you are drawing people in looking for different events. Point being, say you get to Ticketmaster, you try and buy those tickets and it just didn't work out. Well, you're like, ah, oh, so frustrating. What do I do now? So then you come back to the page and you're looking at it and you're like, oh, click here to buy tickets on Super Seats. What is this Super Seats you speak of? So I jump on over here and it takes you to this website, superseats.com. And I can see here, it's just one of those basically those white label standard ticket resale website pages where you can go ahead, take a look at the inventory that's there and then kind of move along and finalize your ticket purchase. It's very ingenious actually because you're driving so much traffic to the website initially, there's also additional incentives to go ahead and make that purchase on Super Seats because there are coupon codes available to you if you do buy directly from here. Again, our friend here, Jamie Johnson. So if you go ahead and actually, you know, pay attention to a few of the blurbs here, you can see here, Pre-sale codes are not available or working, or tickets are sold out. Buy your tickets from Super Seats and get a special discount off your ticket price with promo code CRUSADER. Look at that, all ties together. You come here for the pre-sale codes, pre-sale codes work, you go and buy those tickets, get shut out, but they're like, oh, got another pre-sale code, I'm gonna go dump that in on over at Super Seats, get my tickets there, save a bit of money, everybody's happy. Sometimes it does feel though that they are pushing it a little bit hard, but again, I, I can't fault them for that like, because this is really, you know, this is how you're, you're going to drive traffic, make some money. I, I can't fault them for that whatsoever. What I can fault them for, though, is the amount of not necessarily junk that gets posted, but it's just, just the sheer volume of all the things that they post on all their social medias and what actually ends up on the website itself. Unless you're looking for something very specifically, it can be a bit overwhelming trying to sort through, filter through all the different events that are being announced and trying to find pre-sale codes for that specific artist or event. If you take a look at pre-sale passwords, for example, and I just take a, you know, just kind of sort down, Florida Georgia Line, and then there's a whole bunch of other randoms, Teresa Caputo, Billie Eilish, a lot of people here that you may recognize, but also a lot that you may not. So it's, it is quite a lot of volume. Again, there is a reason they do this. It helps drive traffic. If someone is searching for, you know, Lady A or uh, Jonas Brothers or whoever the case may be, they might end up on Ticket Crusader because they're trying to find a pre-sale code. If you're using their website often, you'll find that it's a lot easier just to search for the individual artist or team you want rather than trying to see who's, you know, who's just announced a new tour, who's coming on sale. Generally, I wouldn't come here to find tour announcement information because I don't find that as helpful and as useful. I do find, however, pre-sale side, that's where the true value lies. I will say a lot of the times they will have them if they are generic pre-sale codes, uh, but if they are unique pre-sale codes, then it doesn't really matter anyway. It'll basically say, hey, you know, you need a unique fan club code or you need a past purchaser code or whatever the case may be. So they can only do so much. And I do recommend them 100% of the time when you do begin your initial search. There are a few other quirks though on their website where I find there's a lot of missing links and errors and, and things like that. Things just don't redirect you to the right places. I tried to click the Super Seats link. Couldn't actually go and buy those tickets. A bit of a weird one because you'd expect them to, you know, drive the traffic that kind of thing. So I find there's a lot of things like that. I don't know if this is on my browser or if it's just on the website in general. Pictures are not loading, so you know, you gotta hover over them. It's kind of a, a funny thing that seems to be happening, happening on my other computer as well. Um, but if it's on my end, so be it. If it's on their end, something that they may eventually wanna take a look at, just you know, pretty up the site, just a little, little bit. In addition to the pre-sale side of things though, they do offer quite a few other value add services as well. So let's just jump over through the rest of them very quickly. So number one, how to be a ticket broker. They actually offer a free document that you can go ahead and receive from them if you just send them a quick email and it gives you kind of basic, basic level details of what it takes to become a ticket broker and how to kind of get yourself started. There are other, you know, eBooks and courses and groups and things like that. If you just want something simple and easy, you can go ahead and send them a quick email. I'm sure they'll get back to you, get you that information you're looking for. 
Next thing over is they actually have some more ticket buying tips and tricks. Uh, I find, again, these are very generic, but I, again, it's they are there. Some people who have never bought tickets before in their life would find these tips and tricks quite helpful. Same thing with the YouTube videos that they do have. They are a bit generic again, and they are at this point a little outdated just because Ticketmaster has updated their website so many times at this point. I find that these videos four or five years old, they're not quite hitting the same effectiveness as they would be in the past. However, in terms of generic tips and tricks, definitely can't go wrong. They are helpful and you should be able to get some value out of it if you've never bought tickets in your life before. Last two things here, selling tickets and buying tickets. The buying side, you guys already know how that works. Go ahead, it'll take you to superseats.com. Again, one of these, one of these airs that they kind of need to clean up a little bit but in general if you're buying tickets they do offer the ability to click the links get directly to the event you want on the different pre-sale pages tour event pages all that kind of thing so it's all it's all there for you if you do want to buy some tickets and then this other feature they have which i think is also quite interesting is being able to sell your tickets so most you know most of these sites are really just kind of helping you to buy tickets and kind of drive traffic that way make some sales on the commissions but they also now have the ability to go ahead and list your tickets if you're listing tickets through them they will charge a 12 and a half percent commission fee which is a bit on the high side if you are a returning customer i think they drop it down to 10 percent in their terms and conditions down there. If you are looking to sell tickets, I would recommend using one of the other more dominant and prominent ticket exchanges, StubHub, VividSeat, SeatGeek, that kind of thing. Stick to those big ones. Basically, you're gonna get better market view of your tickets that are being listed. Likely that they'll actually sell a bit faster and the fees generally will be a little bit smaller. Other than that though, I find the website is, is for what it's doing and what you're actually using it for, I think it's top notch, 100% excellent. I think the fact that they do offer pre-sale codes for free is great. There are other websites on the internet, they will do the same thing, but they'll charge you, you know, $10, $20 a year, $10, $20 a month, sometimes even more than that. So if you can get some of these things all for free, which is kind of what we're all looking for, it's fantastic, wonderful, excellent, highly, highly, highly recommend. With that being said, there are a few things about them that kind of throw me off a little bit, but you kind of work with what you got. If you're looking for something specific, great, search for it directly. You can either search it in the search bar at the top, use it on Google with Ticket Crusader in the name, or you can come to the page themselves and just kind of start searching through their various headers. Have you guys ever actually used Ticket Crusader before in the past? If you have, let me know in the comments down below. All in all, definitely would recommend using them. I use them all the time for pre-sale codes. You guys might want to consider using them for pre-sale codes too. And if you do, definitely let me know down below. That's all I got for today though. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely let me know by hitting the like button down below. Also, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Great new content coming every single week and see you guys next time.